Hi guys, today we are going to go over how to make your Genesis theme full width. If you've purchased a site from me, Stephanie at Site Gorilla, you will be on a Genesis theme. If you've purchased a site from Katie at the Garden of Words, you will be on a Genesis theme. So what we're going to do is first we're going to go to plugins. And we are going to add new. This plugin is called Genesis Dam Buster. We're going to install. We're going to activate. And now we're going to go to the page that we want to make full width. I'm going to make it the about page. So as that's loading, I will show you. So Genesis themes often come with a narrow style page. As you'll see here, the full page width can go the width of the navigation or wider, but it's normally set to be narrow like this. So if we want to widen it, I'm just going to widen it to about the size of the navigation menu because I want a little bit of padding left on the side. So what we're going to do is, oops, this is not how you will see it when you come out. So let's go back. This is what your page will look like with blocks. And what we are going to do first is take you down to where the Genesis Dam Buster lives at the bottom of the page. We're going to enable tweaks. And then we have to go through each one of these. Yes, we want full width, but we don't want to remove the header. These come automatically checked. So what you want to do is go uncheck anything except for enable and width. Those are the only two ones you want checked. So you got to check, go through header, above content, uncheck mark them, below content, uncheck mark it, footer, uncheck mark, background, uncheck mark, because that will remove any of those things and that's not what you want. So just make sure that enabled tweaks is on, that full page width is on, that the rest are unchecked, as you see, and then go to helpers. You need to check enable helpers. I would leave this width alone. This is going to give you the correct padding most of the time. And what you're going to do is you are going to copy this little bit of code, div class inner, right from the left carrot to the right carrot and hit copy. And what we're going to need to do is add a div page that wraps the entire page. It goes from top to bottom. You can't do that within blocks. So what we're going to do is hit this little three dots here. And we're going to go to the code editor. And in the code editor, we are going to make a little space, return twice. We're going to paste this little code that we need. And we do need to wrap it within the blocks themselves. So I'm going to go look. I have an HTML block on this page. So this is the code, HTML block. And I'm going to copy that and paste it above. And then copy it and paste it below so that I've closed this entire block there. I'm actually going to make that three lines. Okay. So there you go. You have opened your div class and called it inner. You're going to go to the exact bottom of the page and you are going to paste it again. And all you're going to do is take out the class and you're going to close the div. And then I'm going to switch this back to the visual editor. Now the reason you can't do this just from adding a block, basically you can add an HTML block right here under formatting, but you cannot add it where you need it to be, which is, let me just delete this, which is above the title of the page, which you also want the title to be within this. So it's going to say this block contains unexpected invalid content. Just leave it alone. That's what you want it to do. And we're going to hit update. Okay, so it's saved now. I'm going to go back here and what's going to happen is I'm going to refresh and it's going to show the dam buster 
just with the default settings because we put that div class in stretching exactly to the width of your navigation with the padding. So that's exactly what we wanted. I'm going to show you how to turn it off if you don't want it anymore. Once you have those div tags in, you can just oops, disable it. I'll hit update. If you want to see what it looked like before, refresh. There's the normal thin width of a Genesis page. And then if we want to turn it back on, hit enable tweaks, update. Refresh, and because we have those div tags in there telling it how to do the padding called inner, which it gave us as that helper text, it's going to keep it right to the width of the navigation menu. Hope this helped. If it did, please smash that like button for me, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notifications bell if you'd like these videos delivered directly into your inbox as I shoot them. And as always, remember, don't let your website drive you bananas.